This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from today's iPhone.com. Welcome to this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday where I cover all the latest jailbreak news. Now without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it. So starting the news off this week, Snowbreeze and Season Paths were both updated to support Apple TV on iOS 5.0.2. The second piece of news I have for you guys is that Pod2G has come out and said he already has parts to the jailbreak for iOS 6. And actually, yesterday I got word that iOS 6 has already been jailbroken. So that is great news as iOS 6 just is in beta stages. So for the future, it seems bright that a jailbreak will come out, hopefully near the release, uh, and it won't be as delayed as this year's were. Now, unfortunately, that's all the news I have for you guys this week, but I did want to throw in my opinion regarding iOS 6 and if it has left me satisfied enough to no longer jailbreak. And no, it hasn't. Uh, that was a very quick answer because, you know why? Because I don't have Quick Reply. I don't have IntelliScreen X. I don't have Dashboard X. I don't have widgets. Things that a lot of us really thought Apple was going to revamp in the UI, they didn't. And they've changed the UI to lighten up in some areas, darker in others, and have the original blue colors. I mean, there's just it seems like a whole theme mashed together. Now, it still looks like it's going to be the smoothest experience I have with a smartphone device, but you know, not having quick reply, like that's huge. Byte SMS is a fantastic application which replaces the SMS app and is, you know, a go to for me. Right when I jailbreak, I get that. And then I have IntelliScreen X. So, um, and things like Mountain Lion Pad, which just are recent tweaks that have come out and are available, have just proved to me that if you want something from Apple and it seems like they're not going to give it, just wait a little bit and you're going to get tweaks that come out and offer it. Like the Do Not Disturb. That's already available now as a tweak. Uh, not 100% the same thing that Apple released, but enough for me to be happy. So, uh, in all, I'm not really impressed with iOS 6 uh, in, in regards to adding in jailbreak features like the Quick Reply and stuff. They didn't do that and it left me disappointed. So what is your opinion regarding iOS 6? I'm really curious. And are you going to wait or are you going to try and jump on that beta and lose your jailbreak? Uh, leave the comments down below. I'll be sure to respond. So that's going to lead us into this week's Tweak of the Week winner. And this week's winner is Mountain Lion Pad, which brings a Mountain Lion style notification center to your iPad. You just take your two fingers, swipe to the left, and you get this gorgeous notification center. It's definitely worth checking out. It's Mountain Lion Pad in Cydia. So that wraps up this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave your comments down below. Subscribe to today's iPhone's YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or looking to get in contact with me, all the social network links in the description also lead to me. You guys have a great day, and as always, peace.